Hey, 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 guys. Well, he should be getting in here. He told me to text him before I went live, and I just told him I dropped the link. So, yes, we have been talking or texting, should I say. He asked me what time. So. Yeah, I just went to the to drop the link in for you. I'm not even sure. Let me get ready. Give me about two. All right. I'll get this. All right. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Well. You guys heard. He's got to get dressed. While we're waiting, is there any questions? And don't bombard me, guys. But unique questions you would like me to ask him. Not the same old, same old stuff. Something unique that you think might be important. I am Marion, hun. i I'm fine. And guys, overlook my voice. I'm so sorry. I have had literally when Don called me the other night, he woke me up. It was like 12 o'clock and he did like Candace and them said, yes, he was cussing me. But he woke me up when I woke up. I was running a fever. I was aching all over. I now have had the flu ever since. So that's another reason I've not been putting a lot of videos out or doing anything. was the canoe on top of the Suburban. When? Oh, the the day that she went missing? Is that when you're talking about? When did Don find out he was taking her mom to the ER? I'm writing it down, guys. So I don't forget. Can you explain seven alibis? Can you explain or ask what happened to the pool? I will ask him, guys, but me and Discovering just went over there. She wants to know that, too. But I'm telling y'all, I don't know how many of y'all have had small children that many rambunctious y'all have to understand i had three boys and one girl that were all pretty much mom was way closer in age but trust me it wouldn't be nothing for one of them pools to be destroyed and it just be gotten rid of and that ain't no excuses that's just literally how it is that's why you've seen so many different pools in the different pictures um Thank you, Christine. I appreciate it, hon. I hope I do feel better, too. I know that the aches and pains sort of subsided pretty much last night, this morning. But I have spent the day, like it moved into my head, in my ear. I have spent the day with this stabbing pain in my ear all day now. I was planning on asking him about that. How many vehicles did Don have at the time of Summer's disappearance? Well, he had the white truck and the Subaru and the Suburban that we know of. Honey, I wished I could get some rest that is um i was curious if at the time did he know the boys stayed home while he went swimming while they went swimming because it seems he thought no one was home right 
Thank you, hon, for praying for me. Thank you so much. I asked him where Grandis was the other day, and he said he don't know. But I'll, I'll ask him again. Red Van, when sold. Why did Grand or Candace say there was nothing in Tennessee for her? That I don't know, sweetheart. I will ask. He did tell me, Miranda, that the house is up for sale. Yes. Ask him about the party that Green Eyes was shot at. Um, I will ask him that. <coughs> but guys, I do. I'm, like I said, I'm going to be telling him similar things. But I expect you all to act like adults and act like decent, respectable human beings. I'm not saying that people don't have hard, hard feelings. And I'm not being daisy by no means. But I do expect you all to conduct yourself as if you were in a courtroom or a church. If you have questions, that's fine. I don't have a problem with people asking questions. But I don't expect somebody to sit there and hound the same questions that's been asked five million times. Or be crude and disrespectful about the things you're saying, okay? That's all I'm asking. And first of all, I mean, I have a lot of questions here that I want to get through. I want to talk to him and see what, because when I ask questions, I don't just listen to the answer. I listen between the lines, okay? I read between the lines. And although, yes, me and him have talked on the phone, it's not the kind of talking like, let me ask a question and him answer. And for whoever it was that said, I'm just trying to kiss up to the whales. No, I'm not. Trust me, he when he gets on panel, he can tell you he called me the other, the other night. And he was cussing me and calling me everything but a white woman. And what made him even more mad than that was when I told him, go ahead. You can say everything you want to to me. It's not making me mad. It's not pissing me off. He's like, yes, it is making you mad. I was like, no, it's not. Why would it hurt my feelings or make me mad for you to say that kind of shit to me? It don't bother me. And that's when he calmed down and started talking like a decent human being. Here to listen respectfully, even though, oh, where'd it go? Even though my opinion of this guy is not good, respect always for the creator. Thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate that, hon. And yes, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't think that I should uh, have Don on a panel or whatever. But it's my opinion. Where's the link? Hang on. Let me drop it again. All right. Just dropped it, Don. Did you get it? Um, not as far as I know, nobody's ever asked him about Alfred Vaughn. And what he knows about the National Holiday House. Well, I have no clue about that. I don't think I've ever even heard about that. Well, Alfred Vaughn, is that not the one that they thought that Don's, who was it? Didn't they, somebody think somebody was having an affair with Monkey Vaughn's relatives or something? <coughs> Don, did you get that link? There you are. Well, I would ask you to show your face, but. I believe it to you. 
I am showing my face. That well, I know I meant that it didn't pop up here. You're froze. Oh. All right. Start things off so that nobody thinks I'm kissing your ass or anything. <laughs> tell them, tell them you did call me up and cuss me out the other day, right? Oh yeah. Call me everything but a while. <clears throat> That's true. Yeah. Did it piss me off though? Oh, uh, not much. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's the norm on YouTube. Everybody puts everybody down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting pretty hateful myself these days. After everything, right. you know, it's like, I don't know. A lot of hate. And I hate it that I'm going that way. I don't want to be that way. But it seems like I'm getting that way. Right. Oh, all right. So before we get started, is there anything that you want to say? No, I've, I've said pretty much everything I've had to say, you know. Um, I hear a lot of people, you know, talk, you know, like you know, they know that we're guilty and stuff like that, you know. And, you know, it hurts my feelings some, you know, but, but we have people, you know, that believe in us. So, you know, it's, right. you know. I, there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do. Right. We tried to tell people, you know, exactly what happened over and over and over for June fifteenth will be two years, and it don't do no good. I mean, it does with some people. I shouldn't say that. The people that matter. I mean, that's all that matters. But. <clears throat> Well, do you care if I ask you a few questions? They're not oh, stupid fine. questions. Well, I mean, they might actually come across as stupid questions to you, but to me, they're not. Um, sort of like, what did you think of Jackie Dobbs? You know, I've never met the man, but I know from what I understand, he came forward and done everything he could to clear his name. And, you know, um, I can't remember. We, well, there's also more than that that I really can't talk about, you know, as far as the investigation. Yeah. But, but he really come forward and, you know, he's, he was going through, I know he's going through a divorce and some other things. And we really don't think he had anything to do with Summer's disappearance. Okay. But what about, really, yeah, go ahead. What, what about Damien? So I've got somebody that really wants to know your opinion about Damien. I don't know who Damien is. Damien, Jody Sue's son. Did he get along oh, with the kids or did as far he as I know, as far as I know, all all I know about him is he sat home and played video games all the time. That's all I know about him. I mean Well, there was a picture of him at your house in the pool with summer. What? Yeah. yeah I didn't never see no picture like that. Guys, he, he, would, have it? he would never come up to our house. He might come up to uh, bring a message for Jody Sue or something, but he would always go right back home. He'd never hang out. Well, there's a there's a picture of him. Or they say it's him. I'd like to see it. I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. It might be one of the other kids that we've had up there, but I don't think he it was ever him. Um, might be one of uh, Sherry's or whatever her name was. Uh, one of them, their kids. Yeah. Something like that. But I don't think. So you don't ever, think Damien had anything to do with Summer getting gone or anything like that, right? As far as I know. As far as I know. But there's so many different possibilities that it's, it's you know, and I don't want to. I accuse anybody without any, you know, hurt anybody without any evidence, you know, because we've been through that for a long time and we get hurt, you know, constantly by people. They say they know we, you know, we're liars and we've done this and we've done that, and, you know. Right. And the bad part about all that is, you know, I mean, that's normal for people to do that. But to me, you know, in my opinion, 
you know, you know, you got we got a we got a battle with DCS, the courts and everything else, and I, in my opinion, they run with it. Yeah. Would, did, you, did you have court the other day, Don? Yeah. Like yesterday or day before yesterday, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Why'd y'all do it virtual? Yeah. Okay. I don't guess I could ask you what happened, huh? That's just really basically just another postponement, you know. That if you know our our country, you know, the state of Tennessee gets three point two billion dollars off of kids that are in foster care. So yeah. they're going to want to keep any kid they can in foster care. That's a fact. They can sit there and argue, fuss and fight, or whatever. You know, that's just a fact. They're going to want to keep any kids they can in foster care. Right. It's a money-making business, just like the prison system or any okay. other system. Leslie Earhart, when she's talking on that news briefing, I think it was like their second or third one, she said a family member called 911. But she didn't say who. Yeah. Who what was was? Oh, we know you said you called because you wound up calling what Washington County, and they well, had to I transfer was, you. I was in. Uh, I don't know why I can't even remember the name of that town. Jonesboro. Jonesboro. Yeah, I was in Jonesboro. Candace called, probably at about the same time. I'd say. Do you know why they haven't released those 911 calls yet? I have no idea. I have no idea about any of the, you know, but Hawkins County is kind of its own entity. I mean, I don't want to, you know, let's just say I'm really upset about the whole situation, you know, but right. I'm powerless to do really do anything about it. Well, there's not there's not many people that's in this chat right now that aren't upset about that. Right. Trust me. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, da, da. when when you would come home, this I'm talking a normal day, not like when you went and done anything with the kids or anything like that, Don. But when you would get off from work of an evening and you would come in, mm -hmm. what would a normal day after work be? What would it consist of? What would y'all do? Well, normally, I mean, we might do any number of things. I mean, Candace, like you can tell from all the pictures, she would take kids everywhere. I mean, I'm glad and thankful she was able to do that. But um, normally we'd come in in the summertime. A lot of times we'd just build a bomb, bonfire, go to fire, and, or I might go by and get some fireworks or whatever, and just I might have a few beers, you know, and just have a pretty good time, really, you know. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know. Trust me, I know how it goes. I raised eight of them, um, and that's what we did a lot. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us, by chance, if you remember, what did you say on the 911 call? Uh, basically, with her daughter's missing, and um, I, I don't know exactly. I mean, that's all I know that I told them. I mean, I don't really remember. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, it's been said. The boys saw her walk out the downstairs downstairs door and yeah. walked away. Well, I don't know about walking away. They've seen her go down to the basement. And no, I mean, they, they're saying that they, they saw her walk out the basement door. I've never heard that before. Never heard anything like that because they were so busy in their games and stuff. There's no way they could have seen her walk out the basement door, as far as I know. Right. I apologize for coughing, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay. Now, there's a recording out there where Clyda Trent says that she called you before summer went missing. I'm assuming it had to have been on a Sunday or Monday that she called you. And she said that she was going to come and see you on Wednesday. And you said, well, I hope you know that CPS is going to be here on Wednesday. And she said, oh, well, never mind. I'll just come on Thursday. And you're like, no, no, no. Go ahead and come on Wednesday. 
And it's also said that the CPS asked her to take the boys home with her until they could find placements. Is any of that true? No, they dropped that case. Um, our original case was that somebody called and said that we was giving the kids loaded guns to play with. If you could imagine, if you could imagine somebody calling CPS and saying that we was giving our kids loaded guns to play with, <laughs> you know. So they they dropped that. They, you know, the day before Summer come up missing, they were up there. They seen Summer. They seen the boys riding their motorcycles. The two older boys had motorcycles and waving. I bought him that little electric motorcycle at Walmart, which that's a good little bike. Kids love that thing. But uh, they was just having a blast and showing out in front of the welfare workers. They were happy. Summer was running around and everything was just, a, it was a beautiful, beautiful day, June 14th. And for some reason, Summer asked me if she could get up on the roof of the house. Right. And I, she's never asked that of me before. And I said, no, at first. I said, no. And I thought, well, I says, I'll, I'll let you get up there. But you have to stay in the center of the roof and be away from the edge and be real careful. And the, and the boys will go up there with you. Because we like to go up there because it's a beautiful view up there, up the hill. You can see, you know, a long ways. It's, it's pretty nice. But. So they went up there and they just kind of run a little circle there for a little bit. And then I, then they come down and we settled down and went to bed that night. And that morning when I woke up was the last time I seen her when I left for work. Okay. Um, somebody's asking, and I know I, I said I would hold the questions from the chat until the end, but. Okay, you're saying that you're having such a hard time right now financially. You're struggling, right? Well, I mean, they're, they're making me pay child support. Can't even yep. talk to our kids. Right, uh, I understand. But don't, kind of charged me uh, $15 a day for when I was in jail. Well, now there's been a lot of people called on, and, and well, Hawkins County is saying that that's not true. Well, we'll call the probation and ask them. I mean, I don't know why they would say that because that's, oh, man. All right. Um, her, her, her the, gunshots. Um, yeah, it's true. They're charging me $15 a day. They can, they can sit there and lie and say they called them and they're, not, they're saying that's not true. Well, they should actually call and find out. Right. Uh, Sullivan County charges 150 a day. For the spot I wasn't there, that'd be up to half a million dollars. No, well, no, they're, uh, they're charging me fifteen dollars a day. It's four thousand two hundred dollars. Right. I just paid off all my DUI stuff and reinstatement fees and all kinds of stuff. Got all that paid. And Have you guys updated the the child support information since you got out of jail and went back to work? We paid all that off. And ain't nobody send us no money to pay any of that. We paid that off. And the other night when we was on live with White Boy, um, some kind people, they sent us some money, you know. Uh, yeah. Ended up sending us, I think they sent us 120 bucks. And I and I, that's cool. I appreciate it, you know. It, it does help. And, yeah. You know, and I don't see nothing wrong if somebody wants to help somebody. What's wrong with that? I help people. All, I I see homeless out here, man. I might give them five dollars here and there. Yeah, I'm still. So, I'm. I... <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting on my fifty dollars. On your fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> fifty dollars. You tell me. You tell me what you're gonna have to send me fifty dollars by the mirror phone the other day. By your phone. Yeah, you uh, were telling uh, me that the earphones at Walmart were fifty dollars. I told you if I had it, I'd sit up and watch it. Oh, and you said, uh, I tell me I'm gonna have to send you fifty dollars. I said, oh, sure, uh, you are. My, <laughs> my, my cash app is on my damn channel. Oh, yeah, yeah that's oh, what uh, you said the other day, too. You oh, laughed. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so Clyde, that was that did happen, but it didn't happen. I don't, I don't know about Clyde. I, who would record Clyde's conversation? I mean, nobody, no, you know, where no, we're from, we don't record people's conversations. So Clyde, the fact, 
staff people in the back. Like Nada that. was interviewed by a YouTuber. Oh. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay, that makes sense. Clyde was yeah. interviewed by a YouTuber. Right. Yeah. Yeah, her family got her away from that real quick. Thank God for her. So she's like your aunt, right? No. I mean, she's, I know she's not, but I'm saying she was your mom's best friend. She's, yeah, she was. Um, She's a... Uh, yeah, we met her family in the Mormon church in Kingsport, Tennessee, years ago. And they just become really good friends. We ended up building, helping build her her husband's office, offices space and stuff, um, where he had built a bunch of a two-story office building. Yeah, no, she owns some like 10 corporations or something like that. It's like a school or something like that. No. No, um, he had a, uh, Mr. Trent had a, a company that he had built from the ground up, um, but it was to do with, uh, I forget what to call it, so um, satellite imagery um, for property, you know, uh, I can't, I don't know what you call that stuff, I'm not that educated, but, but, uh, but he ended up getting cancer and dying, probably about 15 about 20 years ago or so maybe longer i don't know okay if i ask you an honest question will you give me an honest answer man i've always been honest unless i've been joking around i might joke around you know at first i was so upset with youtubers i might i might say some something crazy just to mess with people but I generally try to be very honest, and I have been about this case 100%. Well, tell me your honest opinion about Mr. Tim Mullins. Man, oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, I, it's a hard one, huh? Oh, man. I don't know about that one. Ooh, man. Don, well, I, don't, I don't want no damn bullshit now. You don't <laughs> give me no bullshit stories. I have to laugh. <laughs> oh man, I have to laugh on that one. Well, let me ask you what's your honest opinion of him. I told you, I've told you plenty of times. He is not doing you no damn favors. He oh. is part of the reason that people hate you the way they do. I don't know the about shit that. that he comes out and says. Oh. And the way he flip flops around, oh, he's for you. Now he's not for you. He's this, he's that, and he's creepy. Oh, we ain't creepy. He is. Don, he hides. <laughs> he never puts his face in front of a camera. He's supposed to be a media manager. He's well, a lot of people. A lot of people don't put their face on camera. That's just smart, don't you think? Not for a media manager, because that's what the media manager is supposed to do. <laughs> he's supposed to put his life out there. That'd be dumb. Like no, I guess. no, 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 no. He's. <laughs> If you don't feel comfortable in front of the camera, he's Man, to step I was, out there. I, I was on camera the other night, and I seen my my buddy Randy the Roach. See what happens? Man. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you instead of you going out there to the public, he's supposed to step out there in the public for you. That's what a media manager does in a missing yeah, job. Yeah, but he's not supposed to ruin his life over it. Well, no. And YouTube will ruin your life. And you know that. Well, I bet he ain't stepped out in front of the mainstream media well, either. For one, for one thing, really, he's not a media manager. He's that's some a label that somebody put on him, and he's just kind of went with it. He's never claimed ever to be a media manager ever. That's just a label someone put on him. Right. And he's like, well, okay, well. That's Hang on a minute. Let me turn my light on so I can see. All right. Okay, let's get to the bones. Uh, I know how you feel. Thank you, Vet Girl. And uh, thank you, Justice, for all a minute ago for becoming a member, too. Um, I know you can't stand on B. I know you can't. Well, I can't. I, I, I like the guy. I come to realize that he's just absolutely schizophrenic and nuts, and he can't help it. I feel <laughs> sorry for him. I, you know, it, 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 it's just one of them things, you know. 
Well, I don't know where his information come from because I didn't get to finish watching it. Out of out of his imagination. But he says that it's reported that Grandis made the statement that you did not pass your polygraph test. Yeah, of course he'd say that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that you weren't at work that day. If I uh well, you know. You know, that's kind of speculation that goes round and round and round. And, you know, so there's nothing, there's nothing I can do to prove to y'all or any, any, nothing I can say to prove any different. Well, the I, I'm, just, that, I'm asking you know, the questions so that yeah, you have a chance yeah. to answer them. Yeah, I mean, this, like I said, I've always told the truth and I'll stick by that 100%. And, you know, I've always told the truth. Um, so, and so that's really the answer to your question right there. Okay. You always told the truth. I would like yeah. an answer to this one. No, it doesn't have anything to do with summer going missing. Okay. But I've got another. Is your dad the Donald Wells? The bank Don robber. <laughs> bank robber. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Wow. Court papers, Court papers out of really? Utah. Really? Yes. Out of Utah? Yes. Huh. I wonder how many Donald Wellses there are, though. Well, I mean, it is. You might want to check into that one, Don. Well, I, I don't need to because he's not, and he's a Korean veteran. And when he wasn't working at Hill Air Force Base, um, working on F 16s and F 4s and stuff like that for our country, um, he was driving trucks. Right. He's a Korean, a decorated Korean veteran. So, Did, uh, you know, well, if, if he served, served our country, you give him my respect. How absolutely. is he doing? Well, he's, he's like 85 now and he can't hardly get out of bed anymore or anything. And he's, he's hurting. So, but he's really up there, you know. Hey, did Jose ever come back up on the hill after the you went to jail and all that shit happened? Not that I'm aware of. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I mean, the day I went to jail, and this is one thing I respect Candace's mother for. She told him get his crap, all his crap, and throw it in the truck, and she's taking him to North Carolina. Right. South South Carolina. Or I don't remember where it was, but anyways. But, but it was said that he, Yeah, it, it was said that he went to jail at some point, and then when he yeah. got out, he came up there to get his stuff, and y'all supposedly no, got into it. And she no, she loaded his stuff up and drove him out of there. And took his ass back wherever the hell he came from, or whatever. I don't know. But she was tired of it. Okay, who was staying up on the property, Don, when Summer went missing? It was just me, Candace, and, and the boys and, and Summer. So Marlene so, and Billy Kitchener weren't up there? Um, about two weeks prior to that, Marlena would bring her daughter up there and just disappear for days on end or whatever and go do her thing. Until I told yeah. Candace, we, I, we got four kids. We're not going to do this while she goes out and parties and does whatever the hell she's doing. So I told Candace to take her to her grandparents' house. And she did. So you don't have a clue what she was talking about when supposedly the baby told her mom that she walked in and caught she was packing the baby, or Summer's clothes, and then said she was going on a, a visit somewhere. Or I have no idea. Like Marlene, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about people, but I want to badly. But Marlene, whatever, I mean, it's just one of those, another Don B to me. Oh, trust me, I have nothing for Marlene. She called uh, me up, or not called me up, but she got a hold of me trying to extort money from me and then told me uh, that she was going to go to her uncle, who's John Pruitt. Oh my gosh! Hilarious. Yeah. So I have nothing for her. Right. Well, 
she don't have custody of her daughter anymore. And yeah, I know. Um, uh, I mean, you know, back when I was, you know, I, I was I met some of my neighbors and I seen what they was into, and her dad was into quite a bit of stuff. Um, they it was wheeling and dealing and all kind. Of, it was into everything. Ricky Crawford just got busted for guns. Um, methamphetamine manufacturing meth and delivery sales all that and a yeah. bunch of guns along with two other guys yeah so there's a lot of shady stuff going on around that um shit, where'd it go do, 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 do. oh do you remember back when you were on going on ziggy's panel uh, yeah. Okay. You made a statement on there and on another channel, and there's been a lot of debate over it. Uh huh. We need you to settle this. Okay, I'll try. You made the statement. You just got your daughter back. How would you feel if you just got your daughter back? How would I feel? No, you said that to her. So were you talking about? Your daughter or her daughter? You know, I you'd have to put it more into. I mean, I'm not understanding. I mean, you'd have to put it more into context. I mean, I don't understand. How would you were you asking her how she would daughter, feel. Right? You were asking her how she would feel if her daughter just up and got gone. Oh. You said if you just got your daughter back or some, I can't remember exactly yeah. word for yeah. word. How would you feel if she was just got gone? Yeah. yeah. But some of us like you were talking about summer. Some of us think that you were referring to Ziggy's daughter. daughter. Probably but daughter. I don't understand why you would be talking about Ziggy's daughter. Uh, probably Ziggy's daughter. If I asked her, how would you feel if her daughter Whatever, it's probably her daughter. Okay. Yeah, I wish I knew what happened this summer, and I guarantee you, the police wish they knew. Um, and like, and like a lot of people out there, everybody wish they knew what happened this summer. Yeah. Do anything to get her back. Um, but here we are, two years later, and there's no sign of her. That's not good. If she's alive, it's it's not a good situation. She, right. If she if she's alive, it's, she would ha, she would be being held in someone's house, not not right. being able to go to school. Look, John Pruitt nothing. said that he believes she's close there somewhere. Well, you know, and police say a lot of things, and you don't know exactly why they say the things they say. You know, so, you know, okay, uh, when did you find out that that Candace was having to take uh, Grandis to the ER that morning? Um, uh, I probably called, I don't know, I think I was going to go to the house probably at 3.30 or something and called and said she was out and I had to take care of all that. So I thought, well, I might as well stay at work and work for a while. Yeah. And, um, had a big conversation with my buddy out there for like an hour. We just sit there and talk. Well, we all, we've always done that. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and then I started to go back to work and she called me and said she couldn't find summer nowhere. And I said, well, call 911 and I'll hang up and I'll call 911 and I'll be on my way home. And I was just hoping all the way home that they'd, they'd find her, you know, but that never right. happened. Never happened. Well, listen, uh, the, this question is not, this woman is not the only person to ask this question. And they're just wanting an answer. They're not making accusations. They're just curious. If you were to find out that whether it be Candace or Grandis or whoever was guilty of doing something, would you contact Ellie? Well, you know what? I would have to by law because if I if I didn't, then I would be part of a 
whatever it was. And that would make me a partner in crime. Right. So if I, if I didn't, then I would be charged with whatever has happened equally, you know. So I would, by law, I have to, you know. But, but personally, in your heart, would you? I would have to. There's no question. I would have to. But in my heart, do I do I think any of them things? Hell no. You know, I had it in my mind. Well, I've said this before. When I see Candace, I'm going to cuss her out. But when I seen how brokenhearted she was, you know, and the hurt and the pain, it was just unbearable. It was unbearable for both of us. Um, I couldn't say any bad thing to her. Right. I was I was going to cuss her for not keeping a close enough eye on her or something like that, you know, or whatever. I was just, it's all your fault or whatever. But when I seen the pain, I couldn't I couldn't say anything. She's completely broken hearted. Um, hey girl, hey girl, girl. Is, is there any one thing that you would do different on June fifteenth? Well, yeah, hindsight's always twenty twenty. Of course, I would have stayed home. You know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah hindsight's always twenty twenty. Okay, YouTuber uh, says, Don, why did you want to come up on Nana's panel? Uh, uh, I don't know. Like I said, you know, I, I try to be, I try to be human as I can. Um, like I said, I've been having a lot of problems with hate lately. A lot of, I just. I've been having a lot of serious issues, um, but that's normal um, for these kind of things. But, but I don't know, just maybe try to defend ourselves and clear the air because I know there's so many people that just, I know they're guilty. They, they, everything they say is a lie and this, that, and the other. And, you know, um, just trying. I mean, this has actually really destroyed me and Candace's lives. I mean, we were happy. We were happy with our kids. We were had a good job. Um, we were doing good. We had a beautiful family. And now, you know, we have nothing left. We got me and Candace, you know, we have each other. But, but that's, I mean, you know, we pretty much almost, we about lost everything. Yeah. I mean, We had big dreams of moving out to Utah and stuff. I had a really good job out there, and I was excited because I wanted the kids to see Utah. It's beautiful out there. Um, yeah, they could do a lot out there in Utah, uh, from skiing to, I mean, oh, man, mountains are beautiful up there. Okay, uh, can I ask you a serious question then? I thought these were serious questions. Well, you know what, more serious, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More serious. All right. How come y'all <clears throat> put the screws down and just do everything that you had to do to get the boys back? I mean, like the classes and all that. Well, we are doing that, and we're trying to do all that the best we can. Um, did I make mistakes? Yeah. Did I lose my mind? I think anybody would have especially in this situation it's not it's not just the fact you know alone just losing our daughter just alone and our boys is is horrific um but not just that but then you got all the crazy things that was going on at that time also i mean we have people showing up out of nowhere they walk out the front door and there'd be a big four by four truck park there and there's a bunch of guys Wanting, asking questions. I mean, just people wanting answers, you know, thinking that we're guilty, Threat, right. threatening. Um, does does Candace want to talk? She says she tried to talk to you the other day and you wouldn't let her on. When I've not been, oh. I've not been oh. on. Oh, I don't I've know. I've not been live. Oh no, let me ask her real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Hey, do you want to talk for a minute? Nope, I'm busy. 
Oh, she's she's busy right now with the. Don't play. Anyway, she's busy right now. We got my daughter. My daughter's here, so she's busy with her right now. I'm doing something. I don't know. Yeah, I've uh, spoke to Margie a couple of times. She's sleeping. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. People are wanting to know who Green Eyes is. Oh, wait a minute. John, can you tell us about your private conversations with Green Eyes? Uh, who's Green Eyes? Uh, they, that Daryl Jacobs. Daryl Jacobs. Oh, <laughs> Man, he's caused us so many problems. He, he, uh, I mean, it was bad enough when I first started dealing with him, his conversations, you know. But yeah, I've had a couple phone calls with him. Sure have. You know what? We started, when, the first phone call we had, and he, I, I don't know, I think he's a white dude that thinks he's black because he, he talks like he's straight off the street. But, yeah. uh, but when I, the first conversation I had, we was cussing each other out, calling each other everything out of the sun. And then after a while, we both started to calm down and actually had a real conversation. And then we didn't talk for a while, and he went straight back to being a prick he is. I don't know. But I haven't talked to him for probably a long time, over a year or so since then. Um, I don't know who it was a minute ago. Ask if you could say one thing to Summer, what would it be right now? And I love you. I love you with all my heart. Yeah, that girl says, you know, what would you say if you could say uh, anything to her? Love you with all my heart. Yeah. Thank you, Dynamite. Um, no, Justin, trust me. Uh, she's had the same personality even when the live ain't going. She, she'll talk to you at some point. Just right now, she's Right now she's with, with uh, you know. I'm yeah. Saying. She's 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 not trying to be mean or nothing. She's just, but this has affected her. All this has really affected her. I mean, she snaps a lot now. I mean, she's no reason to do that. She's just has really affected her badly. Uh, we're trying to work through it. I don't know. You know, and it ain't just if if it wasn't bad enough for the. The YouTubers, and I'm not saying all YouTubers, but some YouTubers and, and people out there, for the attacks and everything, but I'm sorry, man, but Hawkins County has also attacked us in many ways. And maybe we had it coming. Maybe we did, but maybe they should have had some mercy along with some of that damn justice they've been delivering to us. But they don't think about that. They're all about justice and law, justice and law, throwing the book at you. You know, in my no. opinion, that's my opinion. I have a right to it. Yep. That's what I always say. It's my opinion. I can state right. it. And it can't be wrong because it's my opinion. Right. For sure. But I'm trying to look and see if there's any other questions on here now i i will say and uh, trust me guys I, and i am not defending anybody but i'm telling y'all don has tried to get her to get on the phone and talk to me he even told her to shut up running her damn mouth if she wasn't gonna get on the phone and say what she got to say to me and well that's what she needs to do she needs to open up some and, and talk to y'all but I don't know which is worse to go completely quiet or just to talk to y'all. You know, to me, it, I think I've tried to go quiet. I've tried. I don't know. Don, y'all should have been, you should be down there beating the damn police department door down. Yeah. And I want to know where my kid is. I want to know why there's not been an update done. I want to know why y'all haven't been working on clearing us. Or at least the thing about it is, Don, if y'all would go down there and say, look, you either clear my name or you put handcuffs on me right now. We'll if put they the handcuffs on me. It, yeah, we're, but we're, at least they would have to move one way or the other. Yeah, but the thing of it is, you know, like a lot of the people out there in, in YouTube, YouTube land, you know, 
I mean, you got some of the some in the police department think we're guilty. Some of them think we're innocent. Some of them are just usually purely using all this information against us because they can. I think some of the people out there in YouTube and whatever else are case workers that, that are uh, working for their welfare. There, the new no dog. She, she told that she told that on uh, Daisy's or Jinky's live the other day. The dog is at the, uh, where she bought it from. It went back to stay with her while yeah. they're working. Yeah. And we're sending her money, you know, for dog food and stuff like that. And that's one of Candace's really good friends. And she talks to her every day. You know? She's been a real good friend throughout um, all this. That girl says, tell us about the conversations with Ellie. Why did you guys stop speaking with them? I haven't stopped speaking to them. They have my phone number. They can call me anytime. They probably, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have their phone numbers. I can talk to them at any time, but there just hasn't been any developments. There has been nothing at all. Unfortunately. Enchanted Life Path. I will say this because I have listened to people say that for thing two years now. Use your common sense, Carl. There are four children in those pictures. Summer and her three brothers. So tell me, how the hell do you get that that's a boy? Do you not have any more common sense than that? Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of common sense, who in the hell is that broad? Common sense true crime. She She's has nothing to, mine. Is she? Why does she always have everything bad to say about us? Uh, I guess because she feels you're you're guilty. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she she figured you'd say something about her today. Well, she uh, asked me not to have you on panel. Of course she would. But. She's a friend of mine. She's a really sweet lady. Maybe but not her, to you. But, but for her to sit there and call me a liar without any facts, she just knows that we're guilty with no facts at all. That's not very sweet. I have another word for it. But... Yeah, but we're just like I won't allow nobody to be bashing on you, you're not going to be bashing on no creators either. I'm not, I'm not trying to. Do you own or did you own a red van? No. I don't know either. I've never heard about a red van until this live chat. One of them is not a what? I can't. Uh. Anyways, uh, let's see. Is there any other unique questions that you all would like to ask? Were you not here to be sweet? We're here to find Summer. Exactly. Well, terrorizing the parents and being mean to them and all that. How's that help find Summer? I mean, you know, saying horrific stuff. And how does that help? Our hearts are broke. We want to find Summer way more than anybody out there in YouTube land. Okay, so go. did you go and talk to the Cold Case Foundation? No, we set up another account with another place, actually. Yeah, um, trying to remember the name of it, but this, this foundation was set up by people with missing children. So they know you know exactly what it's about, what it feels like, and I'll try to get that information to you when I can get it. All but right. they have, they have like I don't know how many missing children and people on, on their, uh, whatever you call it. I don't know how you call it. But uh, but summer's on there, and a lot of other missing kids. It seems to be a fairly common thing here in America, and I don't understand it. I don't understand how a kid can just vaporize with not a trace. It don't make sense. And I'm, I agree with a lot of people out there. You know, 
I agree. It, it doesn't make sense. It just don't make no damn sense. For was there just, you know, right? Was there a party the night before she went missing? No, the welfare was there the night before. It was there till like six p.m. Um, you know, and the sun now, was setting. Like now, I said, see, I, I don't understand that because every time I've ever had any dealings or anybody that I know of has had ever any dealings with the Department of Human Services, Child Support, whatever. I mean, Child Protective Services. They do not come to your house to close a case out, Don. Okay. Well, we are talking about Hawkins County. Can you please ask what time Andy was at his house on the 14th and why? He wasn't there on the 14th, I don't believe. And like if, I said, we just we just got done dealing with welfare. What they brought out, the, our regular welfare lady brought out her supervisor with her, and they brought her four wheel drive because our our driveway's so steep. And they just let us know that they was closing up the case, you know, and everything was hunky dory fine. And that right. really, in itself, seems odd to me. Believe me, I'm not going to say anything. I don't trust the welfare. I don't trust Hawkins County. I don't trust any freaking county. Or I don't trust our judicial system. I don't trust our government. So, you know, it could be anybody. I'm sorry, but I don't trust them. Look, they kidnapped our boys. They kidnapped our fucking boys. And they're doing it legally through a judge. Okay, it says, uh, do you know anything about Andy chasing Dobbs down? Well, the only thing I know is there's a big old fight, and I heard a lot of commotion. Um, she was, you know, from what I was told and what I don't know a whole lot about it, I, I really wasn't there, but I heard a lot about it, and she was uh, – What's her damn name? God damn it. Um, what's Andy's ex-wife's name? I forget. But she was really upset. That she wanted to cut a road across their driveway. Hey, Jody access. C. Yeah, Jody C. That, yeah, he wanted to cut a road across their driveway so that he could access his property there. And she threw a fit. Had the police out there, everything. Threw a fit. And How do you know Alfred Vaughn? I don't know. I don't don't know who that is. I have no idea who that is. Um, I don't think he's talking about a support group. I think he's talking about finding it's a group that finds children, missing children. Yeah, we went with a totally different foundation. Um and it's really good because, like I said, these people have missing children. And if you look at their cases, you can see it seems to be somewhat normal in America for kids to come up missing. I don't, I don't understand that. Something's going on. I don't, I don't know what it is. But have you ever heard of the missing four one one? No. It's a. Uh, it, they're in Tennessee. People. Yeah, it's different people. Well, in the Appalachian Mountains and stuff, people that go missing, kids that go missing. Uh, no, I had no idea about any of this stuff till summer come on missing. And we, what time did you get home from work, Don? You know, I'm a little bit confused on that. Um, last time I talked to TBI, I, w I was clear on it, but I, I kind of forgot what it was yeah, exactly right. the exact time. You know, I thought I left the job around 5.30 when she called me, but I'm not sure. I really can't remember for sure, to be honest. Okay, that, that, that jogs my memory about something. Now, Lawson says <laughs> Lawson that y'all, <laughs> that you guys were looking for Summer for a while before you called 911. Well, I'm sure Candace looked around, you know. For a while, look, she, you know, when I was on my way home, I was on a video chat with her all the way home, and I could see her driving around in her mother's truck, you know, around the area, looking everywhere, you know, asking questions. So, 
I'm still trying to figure out how that happened because y'all say that you ain't got no service up there. Well, on video, on on the internet. Well, we have we had the satellite at that time, you know, HughesNet, whatever. That's the only way that could happen. But usually we, we don't. Usually we get so far off our property it goes out of range. So and it did right. that day. And I'm still trying to figure out how that happened myself. Okay, is there any possibility? I don't know if she'll answer. She'll probably just scream and cuss. What? Can you ask Candace why she would have thrown her phone in your truck and got her mom's phone? If if the if her phone was working good enough to talk to you that whole time, why well, did she throw her phone in the truck and grab her mom's? Well, she grabbed her mom's because her mom had AT and T. And her phone was the only phone that worked up there because they just put an AT and T tower in. Yeah, so, you, Don, you do know that even a phone that's not even registered, that's not turned on, as yeah. long as it's charged up, you can call nine one one from it. Right, that's probably so. But would you think about that right away in a frantic panic? You know, when you're panicking or whatever, you're not, you're not. You're thinking a mile a minute. You're not going to think of every little thing or detail like that. You know, I, well, because it was said that he uh, drove the Subaru to work. Yeah, I did. So did you tell Doug or Josh or whoever it was that you drove the truck, not the Subaru, as no. another one of your bullshit stories? As one of my bullshit stories? Yeah, no, I, you know. I, I, no. I drove the Subaru. When I when I finished that last job with, uh, oh my gosh, I am bad with names today. Anyway, I, I guess I'm tired. Um, that guy I fired, Dudley. When I when I got done with that job, I decided to drive the Subaru for a while and put some miles on it. I fired him the day before. Right. And then had the dealings with the welfare when I got home. And I thought the next day was just going to be a beautiful day because I didn't have to deal with Dudley no more. And everything was fine. I worked out good. And I had that long talk with my buddy up there um, about Dudley and other things. See, the big boss, Richard Tucker, he was out there when I fired Dudley. And I don't know, man. I don't know um, about that guy, but anyways. A lot of people are wanting to know, who was your seven alibis you were talking about? How many times do I got to go over this? Sorry. <laughs> that ain't your fault. I mean, I get it. I guess I'll just keep... Uh, you know, the night I said that, I was drunk, number one. Okay? But, I mean, honestly, I, when I was out on the job site, I talked to Richard Tucker I talked to my buddy who had a crew of four people. So that makes that makes six people alone that see me out there on a the job that day. Right. Um and then and then, you know, plus my cell phone pinging out that way and all that stuff, you know, whatever. But right. plus the the car pinging out there because it has that uh, Whatever the hell them damn car, new cars have, I don't know. When the pictures at uh, shit, something works. I can't think of it. The the pigeon porch pictures, Don. When y'all wonderworks, when y'all went up there, I didn't go. Candace, okay. Can, Candace and the kids and gra grandma went. I think. Did I did they go to Gatlinburg or did they uh -huh. go to Pigeon Forge? Hell, I I really don't know. Can you ask her, please? I don't know if I want to ask her anything right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> she's in one of them moods today. Every time I talk to you, she's in one of them moods. Well, she's been through hell, though. Right now, she hates the world. I don't blame her. But anyways, the point being, guys, all the pictures that I've ever seen, I live here. I grew up in Sevier County. I grew oh, really? up Gatlinburg cool. and Pigeon Forge and all that. The all pictures right. that I seen was not of Gatlinburg. They were of Pigeon Forge. Nice. Gatlinburg is a completely different town. 
Well, you would know. You know what I mean? Okay. Who were the bad friends that you mentioned Candace having? Well, I mean, obviously, her friends that she thought she was friends. I mean, how many, which one? It seems like there's been so many befriend her just to turn around, stab her in the back. Well, no, no, no. no. You, were talking, the back. you were like, talking to Brian Enton, and you said you reckon Candace just had some bad friends or some, something to that effect. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably talking about, you know, um, Hunter's parents and them, you know, it's probably what I was talking about. Um, I'm looking. I tried to look up chat. I don't know why I can't pull up chat. Ask Don if Candace thought someone took Summer, why would she leave the boys while she looked took a ride? Well, because gra Grandma was there, you know. So, you know what I mean. Okay. I, yeah, we talked about that a minute ago. See, care uh, where he says that he took the Subaru on the fourteenth and not the fifteenth, but he, I don't, I guess he told. I took it Doug on the 15th, too. Whoever was bullshit. Yeah, I took it on the 15th, too. And, and I'm not being rude to you, Don. You no, yourself you're not. You're not. admitted the other day that you say bullshit. And I'm just, I'll call you out on it. You know that. Well, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I, try, I try to be completely honest. In the past, okay, like that conversation with Mary when we played that little act with her or whatever that was you know yeah. stuff like that you know why why would you do that though i don't, to try, I don't. To, to try to figure out who was we was trying to figure out who was recording this and we found out real fast but wasn't there an easier way to find that out i don't know i thought it worked pretty well Yeah, but that's... Won't. Man, you just get in them moods where you just get so tired of people. You're liable to do anything. There's just so much going on. I wish I wished that I could bring to life for you all exactly everything that was going on. Not only did we have all these psychos coming after us out of the woodwork, YouTubers, psychos, psychics, YouTubers, um, and we had the police. Not all police. Some of the police are good people, great people. Don't get me wrong. But some of them, you know, think like some of them people out there. You're guilty. We know you did something, you know, or whatever, you know. But not they all have differing opinions, just like pe all people do, you know. And so who was were, recording you? Was it Mary or was it Chris? Yeah. yeah. Mary was taking all the recordings to Chris and Chris was playing them like freaking, you know, you know how all that, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to say nothing bad or rude or anything like that. I mean, me and Mary still talk, so I'm going to leave it at that. Was Summer uh, sick on the 15th? Was she sick? No, no. She was perfect health. Perfect health. That night the welfare was there. I mean, the 14th, the night before. They were all riding their motorcycles, running around. Summer, we, she didn't want to learn how to ride a bike or whatever. She'd get, she'd try to ride that bike for a minute and she'd throw it down. Her lip would hang out and she'd be mad. And then she'd get a smile on her face and she'd say, and think to herself, I know that's what she was thinking is, but I can run and boy, she'd just take off. And she'd keep up with them boys on their little motorcycles. And yeah. run and run and run with a big smile on her face. Man. Fun sure size says, sorry. Oh, Fun good. size says, uh, but that's one main reason why people feel you're lying most of the time. Yep, and, and I get that. And I really and get that. You and right. Candace picked that off way too well. It right. didn't help you guys any and it only hurt happen. Summer's case. And I, I agree with that, but we never played with the police or anything like that. Yeah, we might have screwed around some YouTubers and other people after everything, you know. Well, we didn't know how to act. But yeah, I agree with I agree with you. 
I agree with you totally. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to talk to you now and be totally upfront, all that I can. You know. So yeah, I agree. <laughs> why did y'all dye your hair? Are you fixing why? to run? Man. Are you trying to avoid the? We're already on the run. What do you mean? Drug tests. <laughs> We're already on the run. I got gray hair, 100% gray hair. Why wouldn't I? Well, uh, can I give you a piece of advice? If you're going to dye your hair, get some just for men and dye your mustache and beard and all I that know, shit. I know, right. Well, I usually shave it up, off a little bit. But just for men for mustaches, they make that too, huh? Yep. Okay. Cool. I mean, I've never done that before. And no, I'm not worried about a drug test because I can pass the drug test. So. Um, I'm looking. Did any of the boys go to work with you that day? Not that day, no. But I'd take them sometimes. I'd take Josie. Or Every once in a while, I'd take Wyatt and they'd spot nails. I'd, but mostly, you know, what they would do is I'd, I'd put it on an oldie rock station or something and they'd end up playing out. They'd find a big dirt pile and just sit up there and play on a big dirt pile all day. And, and that was fine. That was great. Boy, you figured you'd find one damn way in here, didn't you? Is that Daryl Jacobs? Yep. What's it saying? <laughs> um, ask Don why Candace did not mention the nap in her original interview that Grandma told. Mention what? Okay, uh, Candace never said anything about Grandis taking a nap. When Grandis was interviewed, she said that she went and took a nap. Well, I mean, she always taking a nap. I'd say, I mean, here and there. I mean, if I didn't have nothing better to do, I'd, I'd take a nap too. Oh, and by the way, I just got to tell you this, Don. I don't know how close you paid to those cactuses or those plants or whatever, but they yeah. did not repot no fucking plants. Yeah, they, they did. did not. Look at them. Yeah, they did. There was six inch weeds growing out of them damn pots. Not at the time that they planted them. No, when the pictures were taken after she went missing, there was well, weeds, weeds growing out. Weeds grow fast there in Tennessee, real quick. You know, I got an old van parked out there. Chill Billy went out there and cut my grass. And, you know, as of right now, you cannot see my van. I can send you a picture, and all you can see is weeds. And it's got that high top on that van. And you cannot see that van except for you can see a little piece of chrome through the weeds. It, it's East Arkansas is subtropical. You know, you live there. Right. Plus, you're talking about June. Do you, you know Brandon long. Lawson? Do I know who? Brandon. Brandon Lawson? No, I do not know any of them people. No. Okay, I learned a lot said, about him. I learned a lot about him when I was in jail, though. It was said that his sister was up there at your house like a few days before Summer went missing. Not that I'm aware of. Because as far as I know, it's just me, Candace, and the kids. Well, and of course, the welfare. Oh, and I do have to ask this. Was Crystal Spencer your guilty pleasure? Yeah, that was a big mistake. Okay, got to ask another one. That blue couch that was downstairs that was in front of the door, right? Oh, man, don't ask me about the blue couch. Oh, no, no, I'm no, I'm not oh going to ask you where it's at. <laughs> I got to joke a little bit. People um, think I, I'm going to ask you that supposedly your guilty pleasure was on the couch while... Candace was asleep. Well, oh, that cat was at the foot of your bed. Oh, I, I don't know. See, back then, we, when all that happened was years ago because that's when we would just started building our addition. And we had just got the subfloor down, and that's when all that happened. So that you're was saying like, the couch wasn't was a, at the foot of the bed at the time? Yeah, that was a long time ago. And I've been paying for it ever since. <laughs> yeah, that was a dumb mistake um, that I really regret. Absolutely. Did, did Summer like to play hide and seek? Yes, she did. 
did she ever no. hide in that refrigerator? No. Then why why were you beating the hell out of that refrigerator that day? Well, like I explained, you know, the, the kids would go out there and beat it with sticks and make it made a drum sound like pretty loud, you know, like and um I was just showing them when I was on the news that day, I was just or whatever it was, I was just showing, you know, some of the things that the kids like to do. Right. That was a, you know, So if that woman hates me so bad, um, and thinks I'm so guilty, why won't she talk to me? Who? Or will she talk to me? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you I mean, want no. her to come and talk to you? Oh, hell, why not? Might as well. Holly, are you in here? She said she wasn't even going to watch, but hang on a second. I don't know. I don't see how she feels. I mean... She's a hundred percent that everything that comes out of our mouths is a lie. And no, no, else. no cussing, no N word, no nothing like that, Don. Hello. Hey, Don wants to know if you'll come up on panel. If you hate him so much, will you not come and talk to him? No, I don't have time for that. I'm watching a movie with my husband right now. Do you hear her? She yeah. says she's watching a movie with her husband right now. Yeah. Sorry. Love you, Nana. Love you too, hon. Bye, baby. I can only do so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I'm sure she'll go on. Are you there? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Somebody keeps calling my phone. Well, I wonder who that could be. There's no telling. Um, well, I've got a few suggestions. Know. You want to hear them? <laughs> I don't know if I want to hear them, but go ahead. Uh, Tim Mullins <laughs> trying to get you off here. Daisy oh, trying man. to get you off here. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, well, I mean. Well, he is my media manager, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> he's, he's doing such a wonderful job. You know. uh, are you still there? Um, whoever's out there blowing up my phone, please stop. Let me get down with this. Call you back in a little bit. You still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Are you still there? Yeah. But, you know, all the haters out there, you know, whatever, you know, go on hating, you know. Um, you know, that's all I can say. You know, I got people that actually care about us and are friends with, and that's fine. You got the right to hate. That's, that's, your, that's your freedom here in America. You can hate, put people down, whatever. He was being facetious. I, I, think I, know, I think I know who that is. No, no, I who don't. Who is it? No, I don't. I don't know. No, I thought I did. He was being facetious when he said that. When I said what? That you were on the run. Oh. <laughs> well, hell, I had to leave my home. I had to go to another state to work. Just try to pay Hawkins County all the freaking money that they're charging me. So does does Hawkins County keep? Are they keeping track of you guys? Do they know where you're at or blah blah blah? You damn right they know where I'm at. <laughs> I got my phone number. They know exactly where I'm at and everything else under the sun. <clears throat> old people turn gray. Old people turn gray. Don, you're old. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Still trying to work though. Oh. Still, still got to pay the all these fines and stuff. Enchanted life is not coming on my panel. You ain't gonna worry about that. 
Nobody's coming up on panel. Nobody's coming up on panel. Okay, will all that madness truly stop from here on out? No more games. No more trying to make jokes or funnies out of your daughter's well, day. The world loves tell, if, if, Well, and I get that, but I'll guarantee you this. All those that say that they love Summer, they don't love her as much as I do, and they can go to hell. And they sit there and say they love my daughter more than I do, they can straight go to hell. They can fuck off. Hey, same watch to the, your, same listen. to the haters. Same to the fucking privileged haters out there. Don Wales. Think they're, they think they're better than everybody else because they got everything handed to them. They got a college degree and whatever and make tons of fucking money. They think by putting other people down, they're better and all that. All them haters can go to hell too. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Well, I understand you getting mad and wanting to cast. Well, when they, when they sit there and say they love my daughter more than I do, that, that they don't. They don't even know my daughter. I, I don't know my daughter. I, I, know sure. her, I, I know her personally, and I know her heart, and I know the way she thinks, and I know that she loves me. Oh, uh, did you or did you not tell Candace that somebody was up on the hill trying to hug up on the kids that day? I never told anybody that. Um, um, I, okay, I didn't understand. Is what she's saying. I mean, okay, does, does somebody told me that? No, supposedly when you called Candace at Walgreens, you told her somebody was supposed to have been up on the hill trying to touch or hug. The no, no, not like that. I, I mean, I was at work. How would I know something like that? I don't know. Yeah, that, that don't even make sense. Yeah. Hang, on. Hang on a second, guys. Don't be right back. Hey, Candace, what's going Sorry about that, guys. That was a real important phone call that I cannot take for some reason. It will not let me accept it. I've been trying for days. Okay, where was the Green Suburban? Did Candace pick it up? That's when Jody Sue and Andy's girl heard her come up the driveway with it at 530. Uh, no idea. I mean, the Suburban was parked at the house because... They took um, her mother's truck to Walgreens and the lake and all that stuff. Thank you, Crystal. Um, before I ask you a question, Crystal, uh, Don, you never did answer about the lie detector test. Yeah, I did. We both passed. I've said that hundreds of times, you know, over and over. Candace um, has her copy of hers. They, uh, TBI sent me my copy when I was in jail and they handed yeah. it to me. I says, well, can I take this back to my 23 hour lockdown cell? I was like, no, we better put it in your property. Okay. So supposedly they're supposed to put it in my property. And by the way, I got I don't know, thousands of letters from people that I never received. They were put in my property. So when I left the jail, they hand me a garbage bag full of, you know, uh, letters that people had sent me and I, that I never got. Um, 
I even got a signed letter from Bullhorn Betty, a big, uh, big picture of her in a skimpy outfit, you know, signed by her. Man, see, if they would have given that to me, I could have traded that for like 10 packs of cigarettes or something. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Well, maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> You're pushing it, Don. <laughs> right, I am pushing. <laughs> I don't know. Them guys are pretty desperate in there. You never know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they would. Uh, they well, also they took my copy of my um, lie detector test. Somebody took it. one of the one of the jailers or something like that. Cause I never got it. It wasn't in my property when I left there. Why did you go to Wayne Morlock's house? What made you Wayne Morlock? Yeah. Because I was mad. I was mad and I was wanting to figure out where my daughter was. And after I'd heard about, oh, Wayne Morlock. Okay. Why did I, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where my daughter, I went to all kinds of places. Um, you sent, all kinds of places. you sent the police to uh, Haskell Ryan's house. Huh. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I mean, that was the first person, evidently, that you pointed fingers at. Well, how? Why? I don't even know who this person is. Well, I know his family got a hold of me and asked why nothing else was brought up about it, even though he was innocent. They proved they cleared him, evidently. Right. I mean, I, he was the only thing who, he was ever guilty of was taking a dog that the neighbor was mistreating. Say his name again. Haskell Rhines. Uh, Fine hassle. Yeah, I don't know who that would be. I mean, my first thought was, you know, the druggies and whatever, and certain people, like, you know, and I, and I didn't understand why the police weren't questioning them or whatever and doing certain things. And I was like, well, if you guys ain't gonna do it, I'm going, I'm, I'm leaving, and I'm going over here, I'm going over there. And it was like, well, we can't stop you, Mr. Wells. And I'm like, good. And I just couldn't understand the, the way that they were doing things. Well, um, but I got into a lot of trouble too. I right. ran into people that just, I mean, I, I could see that something was going to happen if I continued on what I was doing. Who so are the uppers, Don? Don't give me no bullshit. <laughs> I love the, the fucking what? truth. What are you talking about? The uppers. What's that, what's that mean? Well, I don't, your wife's the one that came up with that stupid shit. She well, said she gave your means. phone. She said she gave your phone after Tim Mullins gave it to her. She gave your phone to the uppers for safekeeping. I don't even know what that means. You mean when I went to jail? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. After, after Tim phone... downloaded your phone okay. on his computer. Yeah, I told him to do that. And then he brought it back and gave it to her, and she gave it to the uppers. And from there, it went to TBI. Well, who were the uppers, though? Well, okay, that would be the private investigators. And from there, it went to TBI. So my phone's been everywhere, and I still got the same phone. I still, that's, that's what I'm talking on now. But it's been hacked. It's probably who knows what's going on with it, but it still works. So, right. but I have, but I have nothing to hide. So, whatever. Okay. Um. They said, Don, I'm asking you to be extremely honest. Have your rights to the children been terminated? No, not as of yet. Not as of yet, but I mean, honestly, I mean, they got them, they took them, we can't see them, we have to pay child support, but we can't communicate with them, you know, or anything else, you know. Yeah, Anybody, I got to, huh? while you were in jail, Candace was allowed to see the kids. Right. And then but when you got out to, of jail. Right. When I got out, you know, they, you know, I, I, I really can't talk about all the details and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Because I guess that would like be part of the case, I guess. But she was accused of some things or whatever, whatever. You know how, man, anybody who's been through it knows how the welfare system is. I mean, 
anything you say or do will be held against you. Anything. You can't. You have to walk a very fine line. But, you know. But she was accused of something, and that was bullshit. And you know, they uh, <coughs> they're out to take your kids. I mean, that's like I said, that's three point two billion dollar a year industry. That's a lot of money for a you know, that's federal money coming into the state. Three point two billion. I don't know how much they get a year for for the prison system, but that's another racket. No. Where was Summer at on May 23rd? You know, I couldn't tell you that. There's no way I could remember where she was on May 23rd. Okay, let me ask you about the, the coincidences between June 4th and June 15th. Coincidences? The fact that the same text and all that, you know, about Grandis going to the hospital and all that stuff between... Uh, Candace and Hunter and all that was the same uh, text as what happened on the 15th, happened on the 4th. Yeah, I had no idea. You might could give Candace on that at some point, but yeah, I have no idea. I mean, my life consisted of working, coming home, being with my kids and enjoying my family, you know, and that was pretty much my life. Yeah. trying to get them to church on Saturday, you know? Right. So why are you, a, a why, why do you go to the Seventh-day Adventist? I mean, were you, were well, you a LDS growing up? Yeah, or? yeah, I was a Mormon, and uh, I got to study a lot about Mormonism. I actually had access to the whole Mormon library in Utah. So I had all the old original books from 1830, and on, I had all of them access to all those books. And your I mom studied. was LDS too, right? Yes, and I studied that stuff intently, wanting to know truths and wanting to know about God and stuff like that. And the more I studied it, the more I realized that hey, this something ain't right here. Now, as far as the Bible's concerned, that's one hundred percent accurate, one hundred percent, no doubt in my mind. And um. The uh, so the Seventh Day Adventist, you know, when I read about Ellen White and I had time to study her book, um, well, she has many books by the way, but I got to study a lot about her writings and stuff like that and how the Seventh Day come about and realized that that's the, the latter church for the end times that people need to invest time in and learn about end time events. Well, I'm a Baptist, so we well, probably don't need wrong. to talk religion. Well, no, there's nothing wrong with Baptist religion. I love the good people. It's not like that. Not not trying to say anything bad about the Baptist or any anything like that. It's not like that at all. No, it's uh more to do with politics and stuff like that. Um, the Roman Catholic Church, how they gained all their power throughout the Dark Ages, you know, history, and what's going to happen in the future. It's, it's about that. They want to know, did Candace take a nap, too? I have no clue. I mean, sounds like they had a real busy day, and when they got home, they was planting what they called flowers um, and stuff, and I think what I believe 100% in my heart, exactly the way Candace told the story, is 100% accurate. But the thing about it is, Don, is before Candace went on camera and said that, mm -hmm. you said yourself that she walked out the basement door and that was the last time you saw her. You said uh, that on the news. Well, I mean, that's a possibility that she walked out the basement door. We don't know. We don't know. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean she, don't she get me wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to say you're wrong no, or Candace no. is wrong. 
I'm yeah. just pointing out different things that you said. Well, I might have said that. I mean, you know, because like she either walked out the basement door or somebody come in the basement and grabbed her. It had to be one or the other because the boys, well, boys were upstairs right by the stairwell on the TV. I mean, Chasing Truth did a video up through that holler and showed really good footage right. up towards your house and stuff. And right. Thought, there ain't nobody crazy enough to drive up through there, park their car, and go hiking up through the woods, not even knowing if there's even a house. Okay, well, uh, I, I really, really disagree with you on that one because pe people take kids all the time. No, I'm saying that there was so much foliage up there, you can't even see if there's a house. Well, not, not, not through the dog trail. And if you've seen any of my videos, the news, on, when I walked down to the dog trail with that Knoxville uh, a news lady, the black lady, went down to the. With a news lady. Um, well, I wasn't and, saying and, somebody that didn't know the area couldn't have done it. I'm just saying right. a stranger didn't go up there and park and say, oh, let well, me go hiking through these woods to see if there yeah. might be a house up there, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean. Well, see, when you come out of Ben Hill Road and you come up that hill, you can see our house perfectly because I cut down a lot of trees to the front so that we could see down through that. We wanted to see our mailbox because people were screwing with our mailbox and everything else. We wanted to see if somebody, you know, have more visibility. So I cut down a lot of trees. Um, hey, was that canoe on top of the Suburban on the 15th? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it was. I don't know. That's what you know. I bought that suburban for the kids, and the, and the canoe set up on top of that, and we could all ride as a family together. And Kathy ended up with that. Um, Candace was hurting for money real bad. And, she sold, she sold it to him for a thousand dollars fair and square, but I had a lot of money tied up in that damn thing. Brand right. new tires, brand new all kinds of stuff. I'm brand new on it. I get burned up thinking about that thing. Right. Well, I mean, you can't blame Kathy for buying something. I don't. If, I, don't I don't blame. Her. I'm not. If Kathy, I'm just, I mean, if Candace priced it for a thousand. I'm not mad. You, I mean, it. you yourself would buy it at a price like that, right? Right. That's probably true. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd buy it. For that. it well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably you fun. would. Well, for, in a heartbeat for $1,000, yeah. But under the circumstances, though, that's a little different. I mean, she should have at least offered to sell it back to him. She shouldn't have stole can took Candace's stuff and display it and all that and exploit all her texts and everything else. She's supposed to be Candace's friend. And causes more drama. More drama. But that's the nature of some people, I guess. Right. But I mean, we're all on this earth. We're all learning. We're living. We're learning. People make mistakes. So you got to, you got to forgive too. But people also have to feel bad for making mistakes and, and you know, and ask for forgiveness also. Right. Change, hey, change your ways. Hang on one second. Green eyes. How many times are you going to repeatedly ask that same question? It's either been answered or obviously it's not going to get answered. Jeez. I'm sorry. It just agitates me. I'm looking for a, a question to ask and they keep saying the same thing over and over again. No. Oh, yeah, we've answered these questions so many times. I and mean, it's like for two years, almost two years. 
Same questions. Why were you so upset at work on the 14th? Um, because I fired Dudley that day, wasn't it? No, we're talking day. about before. Dudley says that when he came into work, you were sitting on the side of the bathtub with your head hung down in your hands like you just lost your last friend. Yeah, I don't remember that. Um, we've got in, gotten into it. Um, probably because I was, if, and if that was true, it's because I was all stressed out over this dumbass that I hired, supposed to be my employee, but yet I gave him half the money, and that wasn't good enough for his freaking punk ass. And he was acting like a little freaking spun out little bitch about everything, and I don't understand why. But whatever. That girl wants to know where you see yourselves in two years from now. Well, hopefully, hopefully a lot better off. Um, you know, I'm hoping. I'm hoping at some point to be able to. I'd like to get my job back in Park City, Utah, if I could, um, but I don't know. I don't. And know. guys, no, I'm not giving Carl a damn link. Nobody's was, coming on panel. We're trying to. We're hoping to be able to buy a house somewhere away from Tennessee, and hopefully get our boys back. You know, but. The way Tennessee welfare system is, they ain't trying to give nobody's kids back. They ain't trying to help. Like I said, it's a $3.2 billion a year industry. And they're, in my opinion, they're kidnappers. There you go. That's how I feel. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. It was either Tim Mullins or it was Daisy. calling but, you on your phone no it wasn't them but i'm gonna have to get off here though i've got to get ready to go to work tomorrow so i'm gonna go to church first in the morning and then i'm gonna probably head out and go do some work on a house for a while for some people and then uh just try to build my reputation back it's been completely obliterated and uh Hopefully things work out. Well, I'm telling you, Don, if it was me, I would be calling in. I know how you feel about psychics and a lot of the other people, but I would be doing anything and everything I could to find my child. Well, yeah, but them psychics don't know nothing. If they knew where Summer was, why didn't they find her a long well, time ago? We had we had that conversation. I'm not talking about the fake ones out here. I'm talking right. about the there might be some real ones out there. I don't know, but you know, I would be down to talking on the damn police door and saying, "Do well, something." Yeah, well, they, you know, when you have half the country descend on Eastern Tennessee and helicopters and everything else, and there's not one shred of evidence on anything, you know, and two years have gone by. What I've more can they do? But they've, they've done everything they can do. I mean, I'm sure, you know, some of them detectives, they're good people, and they, they look at it like that could be their kids, and they've, they've tried hard, you know. Um, a, lot, a lot of them's probably lost sleep at night and everything else over it. They search hard. I watched some of them searchers come out of the woods bleeding limping tore up war war completely out trying to do everything they can to find her why do you think that jody sue keeps insisting that the dogs hit on uh summer scent on her feet she is that what she said yeah on her feet on jody sue's feet yep she said the scent dogs went straight to her feet Wow, that's interesting. I mean, why would she say something like that? And if that was true, why aren't the police looking at her? I mean, I feel that's crazy. But she is a nut job. 
I thought she was your bestie. Not me. No. No, I only, you know, I got to talk to Andy a little bit here and there. And uh, that's all as far as that went. We just bought, you know, smoke a little weed with Andy a little bit. But other than that, I don't No, Jody C., I mean, she befriended Candace somewhat. Just another one. That, I mean, you know, I, just another backstabber. Hey, let me ask you something. Out of the two, which one do you think was the abusive? Was Jody Sue abusing him or was he abusing Jody Sue? Well, now that I've seen how both Jody Sue acts on YouTube and everything else, I don't know. I'd I say uh, Jody Sue is the abuse, abusive one in the relationship. Um, of course, she come over. Well, she sent Boogie up to get Candace to come over there and, you know, said that, you know, there was a bunch of stuff going on and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How about you and Candace? Which one's the abusive one? Well, you know the answer to that one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, uh, we both get out of line once in a while or whatever. Everybody makes mistakes. Ain't nobody perfect. Oh, except for all the haters out there. We know they're perfect. Yeah, everything's absolutely perfect in their lives. They do no wrong. Everybody does wrong. It's just the extent that makes a difference. So are you on, still on probation or no? Yeah, I'm on probation, yes. Candace is on. I am. Um, but the, that's really nobody's business. I don't even know why I would answer that because that's just getting a little bit cheap. That's not even nothing to do with summer. Well, because you're out of state, that's all I was asking because you were out of state because that was something we discussed the other day. Um, did Hunter lie about Candace questioning him as about as what I, told as far, as far as I could tell, Hunter lied about every, a lot of things. And I don't know. I, I think he was pressured by his mother and Mr. McDonough for whatever reason. Why they chose to act and do the things they did, I don't understand. I still don't understand. You know, and that made me... When they started acting like that, it made me really question why are they doing this? Why are they? Why? I, and I still can't figure out why they've done this. Do you remember the last conversation you had with the baby? With Summer? Yeah. Yeah, I do. We was, uh, when, well, like I said, when she wanted to get up on the roof and she asked if she could have a soda out of my cooler and i i said summer i don't got no I, I knew she's seen them i said i don't i, I was playing with her and i said i don't got no soda she said yeah you do dad i seen them and i said yeah you got me and i handed her ice cold coca-cola out of my out of my cooler and um and that happened on the 14th yes yeah. And then she wanted to, um, she's probably wore out, you know, probably wanted to go to bed early that night. And when she got tired, she said, Daddy, will you please take me downstairs? I'm tired. And I'd always take her down and tuck her in and brush her hair back and tell her I loved her. And then she'd fall off to sleep. You know? Justin, is that a fictitious question or are you being serious? Facetious, facetious, facetious. Well, we've been on here right at two hours, so. Oh, man, I had no idea. Wow. Well, yep. yeah, my phone's completely dead. I'm going to get out of here. But, hey, it's good talking to you. Um, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate the people that are, 
you know, I don't know. I just appreciate the good people that's trying to help or whatever and not so judgmental. And, uh, okay. Well, I've tried um, to get you for a while now to come up on my panel. Yeah. You and Candace both. Uh, I try, you know, I do work all the time. I do have, most, l luckily I ended up with a day off today, but normally I'm just going, going, going constantly. That's, it's really tough. So I don't think I'm just trying to be an asshole or anything. I'm just, I really am got a lot, you know, a lot of people to pay and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. God bless. Um, We'll talk to y'all later, okay? All right. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. Well, I told you it wasn't going to be the normal, normal crap. Did anybody learn anything or hear something they didn't know? Or And Lord knows I have read all the comments that are uh, Don, I apologize for this rude behavior. What rude behavior, Autumn? Why don't you come up here on panel like I've asked you to do 500 million damn times too? There you go. Go to bed, Daisy. That's just like I offered for Daisy to come over here and come up on my panel just so I could talk with her. No, she ain't going to do that. She ain't about to do that. We do love all missing children, not just Summer. From what I understand, yes, she is. That's Billy Dishner. Then why would you say on a live, a creator said, I hope someone drops Summer off at a hospital fire station, please. Did you respond by saying, I hope not? Did he? Yes, their house is up for sale. Yeah, I would like to know who she's calling rude to. She's not the only one in here that's been making statements. What is the truth that you say Candace had? Oh, look, for God's sakes, you get off one damn question and you freaking no, you didn't even get off of it. You're still asking it. Why don't you come on panel and tell us who you were talking to in that video, Daryl? Who's out to get you? Right? He's not like Candace, huh? No, uh, I don't think Wild Bill. Wild Bill is a Wild Bill Drennan. Billy is a uh, Billy Dishner. Right. He answered that, hun. He said yes, that he did lie. 
I'm not saying that's the truth or it, but I'm just saying he answered it. Evidently not. Can't every time listen, I'm telling you, I've had two or three conversations with him on the phone, except for the one that where Candace actually got on the phone and talked. I'm telling you what, she has the same attitude every time. And I agree. I have to agree with that. I've never thought it before. I actually have heard her talking. But if they is a two out of the two of them two, Candace is the fucking abuser. Trust me. I don't know. I haven't thought. I didn't think to ask him. But yeah, supposedly that Jim Terry is supposed to be on the case now from what I hear. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Green eyes, do you not know how to type? Do you just copy and paste? I don't know. That's a good question. We'd all like to know the answer to. That's right. All right, guys. I am uh, going to get off here and go take me some medication. Because my ear is starting to pound again and I'm starting to feel like crap again. Well, I mean, I wasn't like I didn't feel like crap the whole through, throughout the whole thing. But I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you for coming and listening. I tried to throw in as many questions as I could read. Um, I'm sorry if you ask a question and it didn't get answered. Hopefully the next time it will. Um. If you didn't appreciate the interview, then I do apologize. If you did, then I'm thankful. That's all I can tell y'all. The man wanted to come up here. He wanted to talk. I wanted to ask questions. You know, tip for that type thing. So, I gave him a platform. We didn't have to listen to most of the same old shit again and again. And I got some questions I've been wanting to ask ask thank you all for being here God bless love your kids call your parents enjoy the rest of your night guys enjoy your weekend Thank you for being here. Consider going and subbing up if you're not subbed. We can always use more subs and it helps the channel grow so that we can get more kids' faces and stories out there to a wider audience. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Actually, I'll see you in game night tomorrow night. We got a good one planned. And I'll announce it in the morning. Have a good night, guys. Bye.